Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky Jr. Hey, what's going on, guys? Henry Kaminsky here from UniqueDesigns.net with another Brand Doctor Podcast episode for you. I think this is episode number 72? Yeah, oh my God, I can't believe we did 72 episodes already. True. I think we've only had this podcast live now about two months, two and a half months, something like that, 72 episodes. My God, time flies when you're having fun. That's what they say, right? So I just want to thank everybody again for those who are continuing uh, to follow the brand doctor on social media and have been re- religiously listening to these podcast episodes. I hope I'm bringing value to you. And, um, I'm hoping that I'm, that I'm, I'm, I'm giving you the juice that you need to take your brand to the next level. So, you know, this episode, <coughs> excuse me, I want to go into how, I want you guys to stop apologizing. What do I mean by that? I see a lot of you guys holding back on what it is your true superpower is. And I don't know why you guys are 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 apologizing or afraid to really put your true self out there, but you got to put an end to it. And I'm going to challenge you guys by creating this episode for all of you that are just playing it too safe because you're afraid to either ruffle feathers, you're afraid to uh, piss somebody off, uh, you're afraid to get backlash, you're afraid of getting trolled, you're afraid of whatever it is, but you need to stop apologizing for who it is that you truly are. This is not the way you build a brand, okay? What builds a brand is your uniqueness. And if you're holding that uniqueness back because you're afraid of offending somebody, you're afraid of being called out for whatever reason, you're afraid of this, you're afraid of that, You are doing your brand such a disservice and it's going to take you so much longer to create an audience and to create uh, a voice for yourself. We have to, we have to stop apologizing. Listen guys, you know when I get fired up, I have a tendency to curse. The F-bombs get dropped and the jersey comes out of me, (laughs) you know, very, very quickly. And I'm okay with that. And I'm not afraid to let people know that what I'm passionate about. And listen, guys, if I curse in my emails and if I curse in my videos, listen, it's not the first time you heard it, number one. But number two, it just comes out because I'm very passionate about what I'm talking about. And that's what happens. I'm not going to apologize for cursing. I'm not going to apologize for being passionate about what I do. And that's what you guys need to get over. Because I think there's a, look at the spectrum this way. You know, there's, on the left, there's the weird spectrum, right? And on the right is the wrong spectrum, right? And in the middle is what is special, right? I want you to picture that for a second. Let me go back. So on the right side of the spectrum, there's what we call weird. On the left side of the spectrum is what we call wrong. And in between wrong and weird, there's what's hiding special inside of you and inside of your brand. And if you're not going there on a daily basis, you're really doing yourself, you're you're not giving your audience what it is that they really want. And what is that? It's authenticity. It's uniqueness. Everyone's quick to point out a copycat, right? 
So stop being a copycat and just be you. It sounds so elementary, but that's what's going to help you take your brand to the next level, help you stand out from all the noise that's out there. You know, how many people out there know uh, someone who read one book or bought one course for $400 and now they're calling themselves an expert in whatever it is that they took the course on? It's a joke, right? And they're following the same footsteps as everybody else in their niche. And now they've become noise instead of becoming a authority or a credible resource in their niche. And that's what is killing brands and killing businesses by the day. It wasn't until recently that one of my coaches, my business coach in particular, said to me, Henry, why are you playing it so safe inside of your emails? You're one way, you're one way on video, but then when it comes to your emails, you kind of like hold back a little bit. What are you afraid of? And I said, shit, he's right. For whatever reason, when I'm typing, I'm not being myself. I can feel it in my skin. It feels uncomfortable. And so, I, and, and so recently, some of you guys are on my email list. So recently, I decided to take the gloves off. And inside of those emails, now you're going to find the real Henry. You're going to find some curse words. You're going to find the real passion. You're going to find rants. You're going to find me being really pissed off over certain things and really happy about other, other things, you know, but I'm not apologizing anymore for being who I am. That's it. And man, when I tell you, when I took those gloves off a couple weeks ago inside of my emails, I felt like I had a new leash, a new leash on life and, and the way that I communicate with my audience, with my business. And you should have saw, I could show you PMs, I could show you DMs, you know, from people, I could show you replies to the emails from my list telling me, wow, the jersey's finally coming out. I appreciate that. I love you for you, Henry. That's why I follow you. That's why I buy from you. That's why I'm a client. And so that is my, that is my challenge for you guys today is to stop apologizing for who it is that you truly are and start being you. Start building your brand about what you truly truly believe. Not what you think someone else is going to want you to believe, but what it is that you truly believe. My wife and I fight about this all the time. Henry, you should be more polished. You're a branding expert. You should be more polished. You should be more professional. I say, Tor, I love you for your feedback, but I am not that polished corporate guy. I never was and I never will be. However, when it comes to branding, when it comes to branding and your identity, yes, of course, I'm, I'm not going to show up to the Grammy Awards wearing some crappy looking outfit, right? Of course, I'm not going to go into a, 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 a business meeting looking like a slouch, like that's where you polish yourself up. You know what I mean? I'm not going to have a website that looks like trash when I'm out there selling branding, right? But when it comes down to being unique, when it comes down to being genuine, when it comes down to just letting, pull, pulling the gloves off and being you, that's what I'm going to continue to bring. Some people are going to like it and some people aren't. And guess what? I'm okay with either way. So stop apologizing and start being you and let your brand really showcase what it stands for and what it believes in and how you want to make an impact. 
And that, my friends, is going to get you a tremendous, tremendous amount of attention. Because people are sick and tired of the same old, same old. And if you want to compete and you want to have a business and brand in 2018, which is right around the corner, you better pull the gloves off, you better stop apologizing, and you better start being you. So there you have it, guys. Another episode in the books. If you haven't shared this with a friend or colleague yet, please share this episode. Drop me a comment. Drop me a share. Drop me a review. And I will be sure to continue to bring you heat on every, every episode. So have an awesome day, guys. And yes, before I forget, if you haven't joined the Brand Doctors Hangout yet on Facebook, go to Facebook, go to the search query and type in the Brand Doctors Hangout and come join me and about 281 as of today, like-minded entrepreneurs that are all trying to help each other build their brands and build their businesses and help them take their, everybody inside of the group is helping each other take their brands and lives to the next level. So have an awesome day, guys, and I'll catch you on the next episode. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.